And so you don't have to do a whole bunch of complex customization and need a technology person on your team to set it up for you. Now, if you do have a technology person on your team to set it up for you, or if you want to invest the time, we provide you lots of resources to go you know, watch videos and join our uh, webinars or call up our support team and ask them for help setting the stuff up. But honestly, a lot of times it's better to keep it simple, right? We don't want you to have to uh, be a technologist because uh, here, here's the problem. This is a long answer, Tristan. I'm sorry. Here's the problem. I love all, the <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, a lot of agents will see something cool, realize they need technology, go buy the technology, but then fail to implement the technology. The management and transparency is what's very important. So once you submit a referral, you're going to have your own home advantage account and it's going to tell you where everything sits. So if you have 10 referrals that you've sent into the network, it's going to give you all 10 referrals. It's going to tell you every milestone that that client is sitting in, whether they're touring homes, whether they're an escrow. And you now can manage through the home advantage application as far as what your pipeline looks like for the referrals that you've sent. And so it's pretty sophisticated uh, and it's it's all click of a button, guys. Welcome, Lab Code Agents. We've got Kevin McCarthy over here with Real Geeks. Dude, where are you at? Is this your office? Yes. Yeah, I am in. Hi. Uh, thanks hey. for the welcome. Yeah, I'm at my office here in Dallas, Texas, Real Geeks World Headquarters. And oh. uh, really happy to be streaming live to you to tell you all about uh, what you need in your real estate uh, technology. Nice, man. So over the years, we've seen CRMs change from being a basic CRM, website, IDX, all that great stuff. And then adding the ability to market like Google PPC, Facebook lead ads. And then all of a sudden it started becoming like a, a whole digital platform, right? Yep. Yep. So with Real Geeks, how do you differentiate from all of your competitors? Like, um, I'm talking about the whole ones like uh, Chime, KV Core, Boomtown, Commission Zinc, and, and you know, Commission Zinc is family. But how do you differentiate between sure. everything? Great question. And and be before I dive in, I just want to let everyone know that's listening, watching, uh, that you don't have to take notes because we have provided already a checklist for you to go and download that's going to have all of my checklists for what you need to have. Uh, for your real estate technology platform. And you can download that checklist. You can grab it now. You can grab it after the webinar by going to realgeeks.com slash Kevin. It's a cool URL. has my name in it. That way I can remember it. realgeeks.com slash Kevin. Okay. Perfect. Great. So Tristan, uh, that's a great question. Uh, what is it that makes Real Geeks different from some of the other um, you know, solutions that provide a website and IDX? I'll tell you a big one. Uh, we solve this problem uh, that a lot of real estate agents have, especially an uh, individual agent that doesn't have a big support team uh, and their brokerage or doesn't have a technology person. And that problem is that real estate agents sometimes are not the most technologically savvy uh, people on the planet, right? They might be able to use a cell phone. Uh, they might be able to uh, log in and use the internet. But setting up a complex CRM workflow solution website uh, can be very difficult for, for an agent to do. So we've spent a lot of time thinking about how we can make our platform what we like to call simple first. Okay, so when you first come on to Real Geeks, uh, we've got it set up with smart defaults. So uh, we don't throw too much complexity at the beginning. You can pretty much just use our product without needing to do too much customization. Now, we also have one of the most customizable solutions, so you can really customize the heck out of it, but actually I, I like things to have what we call sane default. So this is just like, if you turn the thing on, uh, it's gonna have everything set up in a way that's gonna be like the website comes out of the box, already SEO friendly, optimized for SEO, uh, comes out of the box you know, with uh, some area pages and some content pages and a good MLS search once you get your MLS approved. And so you don't have to do a whole bunch of complex customization and need a technology person on your team to set it up for you. 
Now, if you do have a technology person on your team to set it up for you, or if you want to invest the time, we provide you lots of resources to go you know, watch videos and join our uh, webinars or call up our support team and ask them for help setting the stuff up. But honestly, a lot of times it's better to keep it simple, right? We don't want you to have to uh, be a technologist because uh, here, here's the problem. This is a long answer, Tristan. I'm sorry. Here's the problem. I love all, the answers. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, a lot of agents will see something cool, realize they need technology, go buy the technology, but then fail to implement the technology. And that's, that's the current pattern. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> so and, that, and that's a problem because I know, and I think the agents buying this technology know that they need technology to help them be more successful. But the problem is this is the most likely way they're going to fail is that they're not going to be able to implement this technology. So that's uh, so much of what you know I've been thinking about since starting Real Geeks all these years ago. And so much of what our team talks about is how can we help you implement our technology? How can we make it simple? Uh, and how can we make it so that it comes out of the box in a way that's easy to use without requiring too much to customize? All right. So with that, when you're looking at making it simple, but dude, did you guys always have that slogan or motto, which is simple first? No, we, 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 I just came up with it today, but uh, yeah, I think that's the way it should be, right? Dude, I, was, yeah. I texted my team right now. I'm like, guys, this is really good. Like the simple yeah. first, like that makes so, so much sense. Yeah, it, yeah, right it, you, were, you know what? Change everything up, man. Like real geeks, <laughs> Simple first. Love you it. Would, you yeah. really start people. You have to remember the average age of a real estate agent is older fifties, right? Mm. And and the job of most real estate agents is to build relationships, right? Uh, tech is there to support us and what we do. Uh, and if you approach it this way, which is simple first, you're already telling me so much subliminally. It's like, got it. You're the CRM I want. Simple first. And yeah. I already know that your customer service is great. Um, well, and thank you. I think it is, but it's nice. It, to it is great. Trust Tristan. me, it is. Because right we compare to others. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. So great job on that, which adds to the simple first. Yeah. You know, I, I love the concept because just in this, and I'll show, show it to everyone watching because you just downloaded it the way. I love this. Because here, let me share my screen. Almost there. There it is. Uh, this is the downloadable uh, item, which is uh, the realgeeks.com forward slash Kevin. And dude, this is easy. It's so freaking yep. simple. This this is this is what your technology needs to be doing for you. All right, and I'll tell you why. Go so, over this with me and why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, let me let me give you the overview of of why agents need to have technology. Okay. Okay. Uh, the number one, the number one thing that technology is going to do for you, the number one problem that it's going to be solving for you, uh, real estate agents are losing money trying to figure out who it is that they should be contacting next. Okay, you've got a big database of people. Hopefully, you have a database of people. You have a database. How in the world do you know who you should be calling? Well, if you've got like a basic CRM, what you can do is you can set a schedule and tag them and say, you know, Tristan, I need to call him. Well, I'm call him once a year. He's not that he's not that hot, but I got a pal Joe that oh my gosh, uh, I need to call him, you know, every day because I think he he might be closing soon or something, right? So you can set all these things, but that's a whole bunch of work and that's based on you needing to have conversations with these people and it doesn't scale to a larger size database. So the power of having a real estate IDX home search website connected to your CRM, the power of that is that you can see all of this activity of your prospects uh, on this website, and it'll tell you who it is that you should be contacting, mm. right? So it's not just based off of, of a dumb schedule. It's smart. It knows that, hey, Tristan was on my website maybe a year ago. And maybe I called him back then when he was new and he said, ah, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really that interested. Uh, may, maybe later, maybe like in a year or something. Well, if you see Tristan all of a sudden today, he's back on your website after being off of your website for like a year. He's been getting your property updates, have been dripping on him, letting, about new list, letting him know about new listings coming on the market. He might be getting your market reports. I'll go into those in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you're going to know that he's the right person to call because check it out. He's suddenly interested in real estate again. So that's the power of the website connected to the CRM. It makes them greater than, than the sum of their parts, right? Like if you just have a website that's not connected to your CRM and telling you activity uh, on the website, you're not going to know, uh, you're not going to have that knowledge about who to call. And if you just have a CRM, uh, if you just have the uh, CRM, then, then you can only do, uh, I want to call this person on a certain schedule, right? So there, there you go. That's that's the problem that, that having a website connected to CRM helps solve. Uh, I, I mentioned I was going to go into the, the property updates. And uh, did, you have, did you have a question, Tristan? Uh, no, I think after the property updates, because you're kind of yeah, leading. Yeah. I have a question about after that. Yeah, yeah, right. So, so property updates. Uh, property updates are the world's best drip campaign for your prospects. Okay. So what a property update does is it allows you to send a communication to uh, your prospects in your CRM that they actually want to see. Okay. That's, that's the biggest challenge in, in marketing is how can you give content to, to your prospects uh, that they actually are interested in? Yeah. So you could write a drip campaign about um, my, you know, here's uh, some uh, top tips for uh, cleaning wine out of your carpet if, if you spill a glass of wine or uh, here's, uh, you know, it's spring. Here's, here's gardening tips or something like, like nobody cares, man. They get so many emails. I don't know about you, but I, I get way more emails than, than I can even process or care about. Exactly. But if someone is interested in potentially buying a property or selling a property, I can tell you they're interested in what's happening in the market. So that's one piece of information that they're actually going to care about and open up and, and want to read, right? Okay. So that's that's the power of, of the property update. So, or, or proper, property alert, right? They get great engagement. We can see the statistics on people actually opening them. And, and the cool thing with them is when you open them, most people will be driven back to your website. So they'll want, oh yeah, let me see this and look at more details of that property and then look at other parts of the website and continue to search. And then that feeds back into your CRM and you can continue to see what's what's happening with, with them and figure out you need to call them again, right? Yeah, it brings them all back. I like that. Exactly, yeah. So that's 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 the power of the property alert. Now, the market report is, is uh, like a property alert. So here's the difference. So a property alert is... Uh, it automatically runs a search on the MLS to find listings that have been posted that match their search criteria. So how many beds they want, how many baths they want, price range, whatever. Mm -hmm. The market report, that's for your people that own a property and they're thinking about maybe wanting to sell it, right? Mm -hmm. So what you can do, you know, you upload your database into your CRM. Uh, and then what you do is you give them a call and say, uh, hey, Tristan, can I, can I ask you a question? Do you rent your house or do you own? Oh, Oh, you own your house. Okay. And a lot of times people want it. If they own it, they're proud of owning their house. So they'll want to say they own it. Like, yeah, I own it, man. Yeah. Well, okay. congratulations. That's great. Hey, Tristan, uh, let me tell you, uh, could I set you up? If I could set you up on a alert that tells you what's happening in your neighborhood to give you an update on what's happening with your real estate investment, would that be a problem for you? No, not at all. That wouldn't be, a, you, you'd like, that'd be useful for you. Right. So yeah. Now what I can do is I can set Tristan up on this email alert. Okay, well, uh, I, I need to know your address. Let me know where you live and I'll put it in my system and I'll send you an automated email. So he'll get regular updates telling him, hey, your neighbor's house just sold for whatever. Or this one just went on the market. This one went pending and let him uh, let us keep him updated, up to date on what's happening on the market. And that email comes from me, the agent, right? So I'm providing him that value. And that's what it's all about is giving them some value. And I think it's also about what you're showing me and, and people listening in is that you're taking the time to understand the technology inside of, of your CRM. And a lot yes. of people like that at the beginning, which is like, that's a big gap. You like right. something, you buy it and you never use it. You or never use it. And that's, that's the only way you can guarantee you're going to fail with technology is if you don't use it. Right. Interesting, man. That's so true. And, what about the API for for real geeks? What what are you proud of when it comes to that? That it integrates with like what stands out? What what's like? Oh, I love that it integrates with yeah. this because it's so cool. Yeah, well, it's a topic near and dear to my heart. Uh, the, the API. So you know, I'm 
if, if you don't know me, I'm the co-founder of, of Real Geeks. I, I was the technologist that wrote the software, and then my, my co-founder was a real estate agent. So I could talk to you for a million years about our, our API. You know, I want to I know. I, I don't, I don't want to <laughs> put everyone else to sleep because this is something I, I'm passionate about, but I don't know if everyone else is. But yeah, we've got the best, the best API in, in the industry, uh, and I've always had a very open philosophy uh, for Real Geeks. I mean, We'll connect to, to anybody. I, I don't see uh, other folks in, in the industry as a competitor. I'm happy to connect to other platforms. I think you can bring your data in, you can bring your data out, and Real Geeks can be like the hub that connects all of your various uh, providers together. So I've seen, uh, I've got some customers that have done some very advanced things on top of our API, like they'll write their own lead routing algorithms or tie it into Slack. So you have like a shark tank where a message comes up and whoever claims it first can can have the lead on, on a Slack integration or do all kinds of advanced stuff with the API. Now, again, most agents are not gonna be at that level. They need to get a CRM and use it. But yeah. Real Geeks is also extremely customizable. So if you get to the point where you have a big team and you wanna customize your, your application, we provide this API so that you can build on top of it. And, and the cool thing is we use our own API, right? So the website connected to the CRM all goes through our API. So anything we could do in our CRM, you could do in another CRM through that API connection, as long as it's built. Correctly. Okay. So what have you seen? I have two different questions here. First yeah. one is with, because you founded this company. So yeah. you've seen, You've seen the growth. You've also That's right. seen the growth of agents using it. Yeah. So what what are they, the successful ones that have used Real Geeks? What have they done well with Real mm. Geek? Great question. Yeah. Uh, well, first they they adopted it. Okay. That's you know they had to go walk in the door, you know, uh, and, and then actually start using the thing. So agents that have adopted our platform are are the ones that have filled out the paperwork to get their MLS approved, right? They've mm -hmm. launched their website, you know, so that it's actually up and collecting traffic. Um, usually they will upload their database of past clients or sphere of influence into the CRM. That's that's very important. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a big key is that they need to set up those uh, prospects on property alerts. We call them safe searches or property alerts, right? Yeah. And if they don't do that, they're missing out on really man, it's just like the killer app of, of having a website and a CRM connected together. Those property alerts, those market reports, that's absolutely key. So once do they you, set those up, go ahead. On those things, do you see that the successful agents put in their older database in there? Or are they putting in, or, and are they also getting Google PPC, Facebook lead yeah. ads? Or yeah. What, what does that part look like? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, these these are lead generation websites, right? So they're built to generate leads for you. Uh, coupled, I've seen a couple different uh, ways to to get traffic to the site. Probably the the simplest, most effective one is going to be PPC, right? So if you don't know what PPC is, you know you go into Google or, or Bing if you can believe it, uh, and set up a an ad account, and then you can uh, set up keywords. So if someone goes into Google and searches for you know uh, uh, house in uh, houses for sale in Dallas, Texas. You can buy that keyword so that your website will come up. And if you drive that traffic to the search results on your Real Geeks website, then uh, we provide a really awesome search experience for them. And then uh, if they want to see additional details about that listing, we'll ask them to to sign up to to see more. So Real Geeks does a lot of neat stuff uh, to really optimize collecting PPC leads. Okay, so one problem you'll run into a lot of times uh, with PPC leads, if you have if you have a lead gen website, you'll recognize this, is that people will give you incorrect contact information. All right? the time. So you're, hey, Tristan, give me your name. Tristan puts in Mickey Mouse 123 at yahoo.com because he doesn't want me to, to hassle him. He just wants to see the, the listings, right? Yeah. So we've been doing this for a long time. And we've actually come up with some pretty neat strategies. Like I could totally validate Tristan's email to see if he's giving me fake information and force him to give me like an email that goes somewhere and a phone number that looks kind of right. But the problem is if I do that, 
there's a good chance that Tristan's going to try, 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 and then uh, whatever, give, I'll just go to Zillow or something. It's not worth trying to get through this form. So True. I'll actually let him sign up. Real Geeks, the Real Geeks platform will let prospects sign up with a fake uh, email or a fake phone number just for the purposes of getting them in and letting them start to use the website. Okay. Then once, once those prospects are using the website, well, even if they gave you both fake phone number and fake email, you can actually contact them with the live chat that goes into the CRM that's on the website. So that's, that's one way you can still talk to them. But the website is going to kind of subtly guide you to correct your contact information as you start to use it. So okay. as you start looking at listings, if you ever want to click, oh, yeah, actually, I am interested. I would like to see this one. It'll pop up and say, oh, hey, Tristan, you, you gave me a fake email, and a fake phone number. Did you perhaps make a typo or something? Would you like to, to correct that? Right. Cool. And at this point, you're not just like, ah, get this thing out of my face. Now you're going, actually, yeah, I do kind of want to see this property. So you're more likely to give correct information, right? Like Another that. thing is uh, we'll periodically ask you if you come back to the website and we have your email, your phone number flagged as bad. It'll pop up and say, hey, noticed you might have had a little typo here. Is that <laughs> you want to fix this? Could you fix this for us? Um, Dude, we found that what that does, it's better to let them come in and start looking than to just turn them away uh, because they don't want to give up any information at all, right? So, and then if you do end up correcting it, that's an awesome signal that can trigger a workflow in the CRM or trigger a notification for the agent to contact you because, hey, wow, he just corrected his information. I bet this is a really good touch point, a good moment for, for the agent to reach out, right? Dude, as I'm, as I'm listening to you, it's like, I under. I understand why you put that in place. It's so cool to see now that progression. It's like, oh, cool. I like I like your thought pattern on that, which maybe yeah. thinks like we, we need to interview at some point on just the origin of, of you creating this and, and yeah. so far, I, I'd love for me, I'd love to know how the hell this all happened, which is a whole different thing. Uh, we have a question from Rich. Yeah. Uh, with with real gigs. Do they only use a certain IDX or can it connect to others such as showcase IDX with Agent Fire website? Does it work well uh, with programs such as Follow Up Boss for stages and prospect client funnel management? Great question. Yeah, that actually kind of goes back to our API. So a couple answers on that. First of all, Real Geeks is an integrated IDX and website solution. So you can't just buy the website or just the, the, uh, just the CRM. They come together as, as a package. Because as I mentioned earlier, the magic appears when you have both the website and the CRM connected together. But we do have a really great integration with Follow Up Boss, for example. So uh, that power of, of all the activities happening on the website flowing into the CRM all goes through our API. And that's an integration we've built in partnership with Follow Up Boss. So if you're invested in the Follow Up Boss ecosystem, that's a great uh, option for you because you, know, you could get a Real Geeks website and, and connect it to Follow Up Boss. And Follow Up Boss makes a great product. I mean, they're, they're great partners for us as well. So they have a great CRM. And that um, integration, do we have yeah. to call customer service to do that on your end or follow up bosses end? how does that work? Yeah, I think there is a way we have a document on, on how to do it. I think you can do it without calling into customer service, but don't quote me on that. Um, but it is a, uh, it's something that's already built. So you're able to just go in and you can connect follow up boss and real geeks together. What now, the, the other website platforms, I don't think we have an integration with them today. Uh, as I said, I, I love being an open platform, so I'm certainly open to, to building a website with those with those website partners. Um, if, if you got a contact for them, shoot it over. I'd love to build it. Um, or if you have a, a technologist on staff, you could build it on our open API as well. Nice, man. All right. So the world, I feel, is all of a sudden changing fast on our end and just everyone's end with, with artificial intelligence coming in so fast. Yes. I, I know since you you're you're the one who made all the changes to real geeks and created this i yeah. know you're thinking about of like, course how do we do this what are some cool things that are coming up that you're working on that we should be excited about yeah well i'll tell you one thing it's something we've already got and it's, it's geek ai is what we call it oh dude i like yeah. it dude, you're on fire geek AI. yeah so i'll tell you what geek, cool AI is. geek ai yeah <laughs> 
You can buy this today. It's, a, it's an add-on to Real Geeks. And, and what Geek AI does is it's your virtual uh, real estate qualification assistant. So Geek AI, uh, when a lead appears on, on, your, on your website and registers, Geek AI is able to conduct a text messaging conversation with your lead to, to qualify them. And it'll ask them questions about uh, their uh, their uh, loan qualification. It'll ask them about what they're looking for, you know, beds, baths, neighborhood, uh, a lot of your basic LP mama stuff, if if you know what that is. Yep. Uh, and it'll actually qualify that lead for you. And then uh, what's really great is that a lot of our customers are going to be like a busy single agent or a small team that doesn't have the time to sit on their computer or sit on their phone on our app. We have a great app, by the way, sit on their app and, and, oh, wait, a lead just came in. I need to go qualify them. I need to kick off this conversation. Maybe mm-hmm. you're out in a showing, you know, maybe life is happening and you're not able to babysit your website. Well, Geek AI is able to step in. But here's a neat thing is you actually see the whole conversation happening. Uh, so your oh. app will pop up. Hey, I'm talking Very to this cool. person. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what they're saying. And hopefully you're able to jump in and take over the conversation. Uh, you know, don't let the AI completely, they can't show them the house. So eventually you do have to step in. Uh, but it gives you a kind of a stopgap uh, until you can actually come in and, and, and have the conversation. Does that also work if you're integrated? Uh, that's a separate question here uh, on yeah. the in the group. Um, does that also fully work if you're integrated with Follow Up Boss on the back end? Since that is a great question. question. Let's see. Uh, I think I would have to get back to you on that one because I know it's integrated with our CRM. Okay. And if you wanted to have an AI and Follow Up Boss. I think it would work, but I, but I don't want to say 100% it would. because You can text me, you can text yeah, me yeah. later and I'll put it up. Yeah, uh, because I, the conversation would still happen out of the real geek CRM via follow-up boss. And I know we send activities to follow-up boss. The question is, can they also see text message activities? I'm not sure. but All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll prompt you on that. Uh, two questions. Yeah. Noreen, this one's here. Yeah, I recently signed up with Elevate, not happy. Their monthly fee includes them running Google PPC ads for me. Is that a feature you offer also? When we get new listings, do you push them out to social media or do anything with social media? Great question. Yeah. So Real Geeks has a uh, department that we call Real Leads. And what Real Leads does is we will manage PPC and social campaigns for you. Uh, now, this is optional. Uh, we, you know, you can you can just buy the platform and then you can add on the service of, of managing your social and PPC campaigns for you. We're very, very good at it. We've been doing it for years and we have a lot of customers on it. So we're able to really learn from, from what's happening across the whole United States to really optimize and give you a good cost per lead on those campaigns. So uh, very proud of the work that we do on, on our PPC campaign. And then the social media, can we auto post to different platforms, not just Facebook or Instagram or how does that work? Yeah, well, we, we have a Facebook and Instagram um, uh, service. Um, other platforms, I, I don't think we're going to TikTok, if that's what you're asking. Maybe we should <laughs> oh, no. check LinkedIn. that out. I was thinking LinkedIn, Twitter. That's what I was thinking. LinkedIn, Twitter. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't have LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, but shoot, is that something? Should we be looking at that? Maybe I'll go check that out. Maybe LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn, Twitter, not so much. I think, well, the, yeah. the five most visited websites in the world, uh, Google, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, we'll see, we'll see if, it. we'll see what happens to Twitter with all the, the changes going on over there, if it survives or not. Pretty yeah. nutty stuff, dude. <laughs> I think if you're open to it, I have one more question here, but if you're yeah. open to I I'd love to do just a sit down, like a webinar with you on, you diving into like the Google PPC through real gigs, like show us, show us what that looks like as much as you can. And then when the lead comes through, what's the process and the even best practices. I think we need to see that even though it's been around for so long, people are still wondering what PPC is. It's like, yeah, no, there is that. I think that would be a cool webinar because PPC lead gen is, is really its own world. And yeah. there's so much that goes on. Like you can't just generate the lead. Okay. A PPC lead, a lot of them are on a long timeline. So if you might, you might call them right away. 
that lead might say, Hey, I'm no, I'm not, I'm not ready to buy yet. I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a, a year out or something. And so an agent might give up on them. Okay. But then that lead might sign up on a second agent's website. And then that agent will call them and they'll go, Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm like nine months out. I'm, I'm not ready to buy yet. And then they'll forget about them. And then a third, they'll sign that person might sign up on a third website. And on that third website, now they're ready to buy that agent calls them up and they get the transaction. Even though I paid for that PPC lead like a year ago, what the heck? Mm -hmm. That third person just got lucky. They won the, the PPC lottery, right? Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to have a, a technology. This is on my checklist. You got to have a technology that helps you stay in front of that PPC lead because you made that initial investment that's not going to pay off for, for maybe for a year. They're just yeah. in the dreaming phase thinking about moving. But if you stay in front of them with, with market reports and property alerts, call them when you see them return back to your website, that's how you're going to be able to maximize that PPC investment. So that's where a lot of folks go wrong when they first try PPC is they're expecting to call them up, show them a house and close that sale. But a PPC lead, a lot of times will be a longer timeline kind of lead. But yeah, yeah. that would be a fun webinar. I would love to see just as much as you can show us on the back end, of just simple building it. And then what happens when they reach the, um, the Google search and then what happens from there? Um, sure. All right, cool, man. And then I've got one question for you yeah. here. Let me grab it. Uh, Rich, can the Real Geeks website solution pull from multiple MLS providers? I belong to two MLS providers. Yeah, I know this one because I programmed it. Yes, we can. We can. We can pull from multiple MLSs. Yeah, we've got some people pulling from I don't know, like five or six different MLSs. It's crazy. We do have some limitations. Like sometimes you end up with duplicate listings if that MLS is posted on if that properties listed on multiple analysis. Sometimes you end up with duplicates. And if you want a search field, that search field needs to be available on multiple MLSs to, to do a search. But probably more than you wanted to know. But yes, you could probably. Oh, actually, that's a really good point because we run on multiple MLSs and that has been a problem mm -hmm. um, because we get like two or three of the same property. And it's like, yep. oh. sometimes an agent will put a listing on multiple MLSs and then that one will show up more than once. Yep. All right. So check this out. And then I'll let you go, be, just so you understand like where I'm going with this. Yeah. For uh -huh. and for Real Geeks. I, typed, I typed in and I'll show you on Google. Homes for sale in Dallas, Texas. Right? Okay. Uh, you're in Dallas. So I just want I to am. Go. And I wanted to show you what popped up. Let me go screen share really quick. It takes a little bit to load. Okay. Dude, this is why PPC is so important. Look at our competitors that sell us the leads. Homes.com, Redfin, and Zillow all sponsored Google PPC. And I didn't even try Bing, but I'm assuming it's similar on Bing. Yep. So this is this is why I wanna go deeper on, on PPC. Yeah, it, and, and here's here's the thing about PPC is, is you can actually compete with, with the big boys uh, because it's just an auction, right? It's tough sometimes to compete in the world of SEO, like being able to outrank Zillow. They've got a long head start and a lot of traffic already going to them. But, you can buy PPC ads and appear at the top of the search results by buying your way up there, right? And that's a way that even just uh, someone just getting started out can can compete with with the big titans of the industry, the homes.coms and the Zillows, right? Well, dude, I'm excited to do that one. Cool. So, thank you. Thanks for doing this, man. Yeah, of course. It's been fun. Yeah. That was awesome. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Kevin. Bye-bye.